And here's America's number one born shopper, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Joan Rivers. Shop, America's first entertainment shopping show where your dollars make sense and there's always fun here and tips and gossip and celebrity excitement. Today we're going to meet a fascinating woman who not only believes in angels but who says she's been in contact with them for years. And in our, in our, in our at your service department we're going to learn the 10 bad beauty habits that you can get rid of in 1994. And of course we're going to have lots of great deals and some great products. So Deborah Wilson will you tell us what we're going to be looking at today? It would be my my absolute pleasure to turn ordinary meals into elegant dining a beautiful 20-piece Avalon dinnerware set durable dishwasher safe stoneware that's fancy enough for a feast and practical enough for a microwave dinner also from the sharper image the answer to bed partners prayers a snore control worn on the wrist and designed to detect the snore at the start it adjusts for loudness and can virtually guarantee restful sleep and goosebumps, yes goosebumps, that you can give as a gift or give to yourself because they're a pair of the Sharper Images massaging spheres. They're portable and fun and perfect for relaxing after a workout. And a remarkable book that tells people how and why angels come into our lives and how our lives are changed because of them. And of course, lots, lots more. So America, let's go shopping. And when we come back, we're going to meet a man who became a millionaire by discovering and selling unusual and very strange products. And you're even going to get a chance to buy some of them, so stay with us. <laughs> Deborah is just over there getting into a floor. She's so good. My next guest. It's someone who I've wanted to meet for a long time. I read about him in Forbes magazine. He started his own business in the late 1970s by searching the streets in San Francisco. We went to all the San Francisco street fairs to find new and unusual products. He then launched a catalog and later on a chain of stores that was selling his unique range of strange and, and, and innovative gifts and gadgets of all kinds. He had to tell us his success story is the founder and chairman of the board of the Sharper Image, Richard Torheimer. How nice to meet Thank you. Thank you, John. Thank you. Now, if there's anybody out there that doesn't know what the Sharper Image is, describe the store. It's filled with it's, wonderful... It's um, unusual products. Yeah. Original gifts, exciting products, things you don't expect to find. Yeah. So you say, wow, where'd you get that? Yeah. Things you say, oh, that's stupid, but I want it. I or call, things I call you them, go, that's great. I want it, yeah. Some are crazy. I call yeah. them gee whiz products. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How'd you get the idea? What were you doing? What did you major in in school? Well, actually, psychology and sociology, because I wanted to be in business, and I thought if you understood people, then you would never have to learn anything else about business. Everything would just fall into place. Makes sense. So now you're in San Francisco, a youth. Right. I moved there right after college. I put everything in my Volkswagen, drove out to San Francisco, and the next day, started knocking on doors. And a few years later, I was a runner. I was jogging a lot. And I had an idea for a runner's watch that I wanted to sell, but what I couldn't find What were you find. doing? While you were that, though, what were you well, working actually, at? the first thing I did was sell office products door to door. I literally okay. drove to San Francisco, got an apartment, the next day started knocking on doors so, selling office so products. So you already in selling. So then you got an idea for... For a runner's watch. A runner's watch. So I did this one-page ad for a runner's watch, put it in a magazine, and the watch was such a great watch, and it was such a wonderful price for the time, that in no time I had made a lot of money, like hundreds of thousands of dollars. And a runner's watch. And this one watch. So I took all the money, and I put it back into producing a catalog and buying a little computer to start the Sharper Image catalog. How many products in your first catalog? Oh, not very many, maybe uh, 20 or 30 products. Yeah. And I had a terrible time finding them. You really searched all over San Francisco, went to the street fairs yeah. and all that? Well, I'd never really been in business before, so I didn't know where to find products. So I actually did go to street fairs, I learned about a trade show or two, and maybe a friend brought me a product. Right. And it, luckily I had a good enough uh, level of judgment that I picked a few that sold. What, were you, what was your first Biggest, what was your first seller, and then no. your first big, and then the biggest seller everywhere? Well, the one that really got the sharp image going was we introduced the first cordless telephones. You know, we take you this for granted. Them. Yeah, we take them for granted nowadays. But once upon a time, this was the strangest thing. And I remember picking up the phone and calling my mom and saying, "Mom, you won't believe this. I'm on a phone that has no cord." Did people pick it up right away in the store? Did they go crazy for it? They or were crazy they, over it. Were they careful yeah. of it? And the department stores at the time were afraid to sell it, interestingly. They thought it wouldn't sell. 
Isn't that strange? The, the most wonderful thing. Never what other take things? it for granted. What other things have come out? Oh, some funny things. Uh, we introduced the first Nautilus home stomach trimming gym equipment for your home, where you sit on the machine and you go forward like this, oh, you exercise yeah, your stomach. Sure. Right. And people bought these like crazy, and they were $500, and I couldn't believe they would buy them. But we sold thousands of them, and none ever came back. None came back. I think it's probably because it was like a big machine, big and heavy. Yeah, you know, you know what, said? what was your biggest, biggest seller of all times, so far, up to date? Well, it's sort of a close tie. We have two. One is this uh, gel, this blue gel inner sole that we introduced a few years oh, ago. Oh, stupid and thing you put in your shoes. The water bed in your foot. Yeah, the water bed in your shoe. Yes, huge that, seller. That is millions. That's just a fantastic product. Because if you stand up like a nurse, a, a policeman or whatever, a salesperson, you get a little massage all day. People oh, like that. Right, okay. And the other is for men, like uh, me, I'm wearing a tie today. Guys want to wear ties. The motorized tie rack that we sell that spins your ties in a circle in your closet is a real great seller. Because guys like to motorize this morning uh, routine because right. it gives them the feeling they're doing something special with their morning instead of just going to work. Yeah, that's it. So, hey, I'm Butch. That's right. No. And this year, this, this year Nat has what's called Auto Drive. Auto Drive, which yeah, is? This is? this is for the macho guy. You got Auto Drive on your motorized Okay. Title. Let me ask you, what was the biggest bomb? Oh. Um, that you, and you were disappointed, because I know this, sometimes like I'll write a joke, I'll say, that should work. I don't know why it doesn't work. <laughs> right. This is very embarrassing. One, I mean, it's not embarrassing. It's just a disappointment that one year I had a great idea for these. I, the joke is, I call it the exploding briefcase. It was really just an alarm briefcase. So if somebody grabbed your briefcase, the thing had a big, loud sound, and it put out a siren that was really quite loud, because the briefcase carries a lot of room right. for a big battery. And I thought the alarm briefcase was a great idea. New and York, then, great. Nobody wanted it. Not a Nobody single soul. Nobody wanted it. I think they were scared to death, Joe. They, they go to a conference table or a boardroom, they'd have a <laughs> meeting, and the boss would hear your briefcase go off by accident, right. and you get fired. I think yeah. it was the problem. Because it's a great idea for New York. I thought it was a great, great. idea. I tell me. If you want one at a discount, I'd I'll give it away. <laughs> I'll trade you for a joke that didn't work. I've only got a few thousand left. <laughs> Let me ask you, who picks all the things? Mm. Pretty much me. Yeah, so it's really yeah. your vision. Still. Well, we have a buying department, and we, and we have a lot of people that work with me, but in the end, you know, it's the personal touch that makes things work. Yeah. Let's go to commercial. When we come back, let's go over, or we'll bring them here, and we'll put all the, some of the newer products Great. on here, okay? Thanks. We'll be back in a second with some new, wonderful products on the Sharper image, so don't go away. <laughs> with Richard Tolheimer, the founder and chairman of the board of the Sharper Image Stores, and he's brought with him just five products that he selected at random, and let's start with the birds. Now, what, these are what? These are talking birds, huh? I turn it on right there. Now it's on automatic. This bird will sit in your home for um, days or weeks and not move, and then as soon, as soon as somebody goes in front of it, it will start chirping. Isn't that cute? That's great, and otherwise it doesn't chirp. It'll just sit there. So this is the greatest icebreaker you will ever see. You put one of these on your desk or on your credenza or on your kitchen, and somebody walks in, and as soon as they get in front of it, the little thing starts moving and chirping. Or if you're smart, you go into a bar. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Sailor. That's great. How much does something like this run? Well, they're not very expensive. They're about uh, $29.95, I think. $29.95. Do you include, oh, excuse me, do you include batteries or batteries come extra? No, you got to get two AA batteries. Yeah. And what we recommend, of course, nowadays you can recharge, get rechargeable batteries, or even you can get products that recharge regular batteries, so you don't have to throw the batteries into the environment all the time. Now, how do you tell them to shut up? You just turn it off, well, right? There's a little switch yeah. if you want to permanently turn it off. Yeah. And, of course, if you don't walk in front of it, it won't. It won't, it won't go on. I have this. I think it's right. This is the snore control. This is snore control. Snore control was designed Does this because... really work? Oh, I, actually, there's a letter in our catalog just this month where a lady thanked me for saving her new marriage because her newlywed husband was snoring a lot. And you don't know the number of relationships that oh, are screwed up because I know. of snoring. I, well, I don't know, but I wish I knew. Show me... Uh, it's very easy yes. to use. In fact, it's, it's uh, on a one-control product. <laughs> well, actually, no, you just put it on with a little Velcro band here and get on it comfortable. Wrist. And then you turn it on, and then you have a sensitivity control. So as we're talking right now, and you make a loud sound, let me turn this, so I'll turn the sensitivity up a little bit. Snore! I can feel it vibrating my wrist. 
So this causes you to sort of subconsciously turn or adjust your position to stop the slight vibration. Here, I want you to feel it. Oh, that's, so in other words, it doesn't make a sound. It just makes, oh, I feel the vibration right now because I'm talking. Right. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, yes, that like, gets him to know he's snoring, so he'll turn around. Exactly. So it gets Hello. Hit. Oh, right. Is there always a hymn that's doing the snoring, by the way? Hello, a lot. Uh, I think we've got another use for the snore control. Okay. So snoring is a terrible problem, and we yes. have sold thousands of these. How much is this? This is uh, $60. Yeah, I, I sent this to Marlon and Donald for their wedding. And uh, this is my wedding gift to the, the Trumps. I'll tell you one thing interesting. This she is that, snores is that right? like a son of a gun. <laughs> Marlon? Here's something yeah. to make you feel good about the product. This has actually been tested by the Stanford University Research Sleep Laboratory for five months now. That's With very good. good results. And I wish I'd had that. My husband used to snore. He used to drive me. And Vincent Price, may he rest in peace, his wife used to complain terribly about it. Snoring this is, is great. a terrible problem. And we have perfected this product. It is just a great product. I think it's great. Now, this is one that I've already bought. This, I just said to Melissa, okay, this is so stupid. I love this. <laughs> It's a talking <laughs> clock. This is such a funny product. It's so silly. You press it any time, and it gives you, oops, I'm sorry, the hard surface, and it gives you the time. Is that great? The lips actually move. It's got a real LCD clock here, so you can set it. It's got an alarm and an hourly chime. So if you wanted to, it will announce the hourly time every hour. And when you set the alarm and it goes off, it will tell you, it will remind you what time you set the alarm for. I think okay. it's great. So here's the great thing. You're waking up at Saturday or Sunday. Right. You don't want to open your eyes because you want to get that extra sleep. Yeah. So you just stick your arm out and hit it. And it, and it tells you what time it is. And you can go back to sleep without opening your eyes. I think that's great. Now, the other one we have up, well, we sent that over to the audience, right? This is what... Goosebumps on a rope. Yes. Have you ever seen this? No. Here's how you use it. You actually just um, hold on to it yourself. Right. And as you do your back, oh, this feels so good. This is a wonderful sensation because we, it releases the tension in your back. They're hard, the balls. They're very hard. Now put yeah. a thumb through each oh. one. Yeah. Okay. And now just... So, oh, it's very, it's nice. Yeah. Oh, it's great. The whole audience is doing that now. Can we get a shot of the audience? It's not the whole audience, but enough of the audience is doing that. Yeah. How does that feel for you, Deborah? I like anything with hard balls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll have the birds sing. <laughs> this is a wonderful feeling. People, yeah. people cannot imagine this. Yeah, people, that feels very good. You can't imagine what it feels like until you do it. But there's a tension release that comes from the goosebump feeling that yeah. is unique in massage. And this is a great, great feeling. And you could do it to someone else. You could just hold it up against them and do their back if you want right. like this. and do the whole thing. Uh -huh. Now, Terrific last product. but not least, in this beautiful box, which I think, again, is so pretty. And explain what this is. This is, it's an ancient Chinese Hundreds form of years old. Of relaxation. In a beautiful silk brocade box are these nice enameled cloisonne, would look like uh, two sort of um, innocent looking metallic balls. Yes. You pick them up and put them in your wrist, and you notice there's a musical chime. Yes. One is a high, one is a low chime. Oh, let me hear. That's low. That's higher. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then the trick is, do you, you know how to do no, that? No, show me. I'm not very good at it, but I keep practicing by talking on the phone. The trick is to learn to rotate them around in a circle like this. And you do this while you're talking. See, I can't do it the other way yet. You, you learn to do it on the phone. And seriously, I used to just simply put potato chips from the hand to the mouth all the time that I watch television. Now I do this instead, and, and it actually helps me. And this, the sounds mean something, right? Isn't like a ying. My hairdresser, Robert Chu. Is Chinese, and he said, you probably didn't even know this, but the sounds represent yin and yang and two sides, and it's all right. philosophy Male, behind female. it. Male, female. Yeah. So okay. this is based on a Chinese tradition that's, that's literally centuries old of stress relief and manual dexterity building. So you improve the coordination of your hands while you relieve stress, talking on the phone, thinking, watching television. Great. And so you get a beautiful tone, a beautiful cloisonne art piece. Pretty. Also mm -hmm. very pretty to give as a gift, you know that? Beautiful gift. They come in this yeah. nice silk brocade yeah. box. Very pretty. Deborah, will you tell our audience how they can get any one of these gifts from the Sharper Image? Okay, if I can I stop from, from feeling so good right now, I'll be able to do that. Now, for the animated singing songbirds, the item number is Y106, 
and they're priced at $29.95 each. For the Sharper Image Snore Control, it's item number Y107 and the price is $59.95. For the Talking Lips Clock, it's item number N103, and that price is $39.95. For Goosebumps on a Rope, it's item number G111, and the price is $24.95. And if you'd like to order the Sharper Image set of Chinese Cloisonne Balls, it's item number Y109, and the price is only $24.95 for a set of two. Remember, it's a snap to order any Can We Shop product. Just phone the 800 number on the bottom of your screen, tell the operator if you'll be paying by personal check, money order, or credit card, and give the item number. Delivery should be about two weeks from the time you place your order. Back to you, Joan. Okay, and after the break, I thank you again for being here. Thank you. And thank you, girls, for singing your hearts out. After the break, we're going to be looking at how to give a new lease to life on your dinner table, or even just in your breakfast nook, but how to make it look pretty for very little money. So stay with us. Please tell us how to order this terrific dinnerware. Okay, okay, everybody. It's time to prove that you can shop. To order the 20-piece Avalon dinner plate set, it's item number R101, and can we shop priced at only $49.95. The 16-piece Galaxy dinnerware set is also item number R101, and again, can we shop priced at $49.95. If you'd like to order the Sharper Image set of Chinese Cloisonne Balls, it's item number Y109, and the price is $24.95 for a set of two. For Goosebumps on a Rope, it's item number G111, and the price is $24.95. For the Talking Lip Clock, it's item number N103, and that price is $39.95. For the Sharper Image Snore Control, it's item number Y107, and the price is only $59.95. And for the animated singing songbirds, the item number is Y106, and they're priced at $29.95 each. Because this is an exclusive, like Joan said. If you'd like to order chemical-free toilet clean, it's item number Y110, and the price is only $19.99 with two cartridges. To order the 20-piece Avalon dinnerware set, it's item number R101, price is at only $49.95. If you'd like the 16-piece Galaxy dinnerware set, it's also item number R101, and can we shop priced at only $49.95. And don't forget the Sharper Image products. For the set of two Chinese Cloisonne balls, it's item number Y109, and the price is $24.95. For Goosebumps on a Rope, it's item number G111, and the price is also $24.95. For the Talking Lips Clock, it's item number N103, priced today at $39.95. For the Snore Control, it's item number Y107, priced at $59.95. And for the Animated Singing Songbirds, the item number is Y106, and the price is $29.95 each. If you'd like a personally autographed copy of the book, Touched by Angels, that's item number G110, and the price is $11.95. And remember, if for any reason whatsoever you are not completely satisfied with your purchase, which we're sure you will be, simply return the merchandise within 30 days of the day you receive it, and we will immediately refund your money or cancel your charge to your credit card account number with no questions asked. Back okay. to you, Joan. Thank you. Thank you, Deborah, my darling. I thank you so much. I think it's a great idea. Keep your toilets clean to your health. And I thank all of you for your <laughs> I thank all of you, but I believe in a clean environment, but please. I thank you all for joining me today. I hope we can have another terrific Can We Shop date tomorrow. Lots of fun, lots of great products, lots of people to talk to. See you all tomorrow. What did you